Hello Fruity Cuties, what's up? My name is Jeanette, also known as Misfit Vegan. And today I'm going to be making a very simple, very easy, very delicious smoothie bowl. You need, okay, bananas. It's very important that your bananas are delicious. So I personally have these kind of bananas and I ripened them to perfection, which means they peeled very, very easily. And so I, I put them in the freezer last night. You need frozen bananas at least for 24 hours, okay? So it's not gonna be that big because this is actually a pre-dinner smoothie bowl. So I'm putting in six bananas. And then I'm gonna put in some strawberries, not too many. Okay, hold on, I gotta open this. What's up guys? Now, there are three ingredients to this smoothie bowl. I'm just going to open this. Yeah. There's three ingredients. One of them is interchangeable for something else. So I'm not going to put in too many strawberries because here's the thing. Berries are very high in water and they're going to make my smoothie bowl watery. I don't want that. And I don't like too many strawberries. So personally, I have found maybe like four or five are good for me. Okay. Now here's the secret ingredient that is gonna be the game changer for you, okay? So fresh coconut meat. Now I've been eating this, so not ideal, but <laughs> it's so freaking good. I'm trying to save it for smoothies and smoothie bowls, but it's really, really good. Now if you don't have access to fresh coconut meat, this is already going bad after only two days. Can you believe that? You can tell it's going bad because it's getting a little purple. That's crazy. Um, if you don't have access to fresh coconut meat, you can use cashews or any type of, well, not any type of nut or seed, but I would use probably, you can use sunflower seeds. Yeah. Um, so six bananas I'm putting in here, five strawberries. I'm putting in two things of coconut meat. Oh, it's going to be so good. Wow. The coconut meat's already going bad. Do you guys see? I don't know. Can you see? It's getting like purple and it's like. Wow, it just is amazing to see how fast things go bad when they're actually fresh and alive. Coconut meat is the big game changer. Now, um, you don't need coconut meat, but it's going to really help you out. You can also put in hemp seeds in here if you want to. So sesame, sunflower seeds, cashews, or hemp seeds. What's up, boo? What's up, JJ? What's up, Div Divinity? Um, we are going to blend it with a tiny bit of water because unfortunately I don't have a fresh banana these are not ripe I have a bunch of bananas but none of them are ripe unfortunately so I have to add a tiny bit of water um, like the tiniest bit to not put in too much water I'm gonna pour my water into a cup first so I don't put in too much and I also have to show you guys something that's really cool that I ordered yesterday on Amazon. We're putting in a tiny bit of water. Not too much. It depends if you want nice cream or you want a smoothie bowl. You put in more water for smoothie bowls. We're going to top it with these, which I haven't had for years. These are unsweetened toasted coconut flakes. The ingredients is just coconut. They're amazing. You can find those on Amazon too. Uh, before I blend, I just want to show you guys real quick. I bought this on Amazon yesterday. So some of you guys know that once in a while I do have sleep issues, so I try to have chamomile tea. It really helps me, okay? This is my chamomile tea. I get it, like, it's just like the flowers, right? So I take a teaspoon of chamomile and I put it in this teapot and I just let it sit all day long. I don't heat it up and I just let it sit and then it inf infuses the water with the chamomile flowers and then if I want, I can heat it up, but you don't have to. And it's just so freaking cute. I love this little tea pot. I always wanted one and you don't need to heat it up. You see, this is a way to have tea not hot if you don't want it. But if you want hot tea, there's nothing wrong with it too. I'm not a tea drinker. I'm trying to be one. I think it's pretty healthy, um, especially if you get the fresh tea, like the flowers and stuff. I wouldn't recommend tea bags. It's been proven that there's like, I don't know. I don't know. I once heard somebody say that there was like shards of plastic, microplastics in the tea bags. I don't even know if that's true or not. But 
Might as well get the freshest stuff possible, right? So there you go. Okay, guys, I'm going to mute you. I'm going to zoom in and mute you. And we're going to, when we're blending, we're just going to start on very low and slowly raise it. Okay, let me mute you so you don't kill me. Okay, you don't need to blend for more than 30 seconds. Take it out, and I guess I didn't make a smoothie bowl. I guess I made nice cream, flip it over. That's how you know you have good nice cream. You also see the four peaks. Let me get a spatula so I can take it out. It's so good, and I swear to you, it tastes like strawberry shortcake. Hold on. Let me get a nice bowl. Let me try to find... A nice bowl to put it in. How are you guys doing today? I'm on here just for a few more seconds. So if anybody has any questions, comments, concerns about a raw food diet, let me know, boo. All right, I can't find a nice bowl, so we're going to go with that one. Any questions about a raw food diet, let me know, boo. I just filmed like 10 videos, so I am hungry. Okay, so <clears throat> this is very small compared to what I usually do because I'm about to have dinner. So this is my pre-dinner. I always have a pre-dinner fruit meal, usually like grapes or I don't know, sometimes a smoothie bowl or an ice cream. Okay, it doesn't look as good as it's going to taste, but trust me, it's going to taste really good. We're putting some, my camera is dirty, I think. Is that what's going on here? No, it just doesn't look amazing. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna put some coconut flakes on top. These are really, really, really good. No, they're not raw, so basically I'm a fraud. There you go. Strawberry shortcake smoothie bowl, but it's more like nice cream. And it's really good, highly recommend it. You definitely don't need the coconut meat, but you need some type of fat to make it creamy and delicious. And hold on. I need to get a spoon. I also ordered, I'm so proud of myself, I ordered healthy dish soap pods. So I got Molly's dish, um, dish soap. Oh my God. Sorry, I'm tired Whew, from filming. Also didn't sleep last night. But basically, you lost me at the coconut flakes. <laughs> basically. Um, I got Molly's, um dishwasher pods so I'm happy about that mmm so good so 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 good love you guys also oh yeah oh yeah a spoonful of almond butter would be amazing did you guys know you can make almond milk with almond butter and water also these dates tastes like chocolate. I just want you to know, Safawi dates are ridiculous, okay? It looks like a box of chocolate, and that's what it tastes like. Thank you guys so much for being here. What's the name of the alkaline bananas? Thanks. Oh, yeah, the alkaline, ban the burro, right here, burro bananas. These are apparently the only bananas that Dr. Sabi allows. I think Dr. Sabi is an amazing person. He did a lot for humanity. But I don't follow the Dr. Sabi diet because it's very, very restricting. So that's it. Love you guys. Bye.